Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. On today's episode, I will be targeting smallmouth bass in a beautiful canyon river. In the summertime, smallmouth bass fishing is one of my favorite pastimes, especially wading these small tiny little rivers. Today I will be targeting the north fork of the American River above Lake Clementine. This particular stretch of river used to host quite a bit of trout, but as the years went by, as the smallmouth bass and panfish began to colonize this section of river due to damming and sediment buildup, there are no longer trout in this portion of the river. Now I will target them exclusively today with the Euro Tackle Anisoptera and Euro Tackle Tungsten Jig. What this jig is meant to imitate with this soft plastic is a dragonfly nymph. I will hop this nymph and jig along the bottom as much as I can. As you guys can see, it looks almost just like the real thing. What has happened to these rivers is that the smallmouth bass it will now occupy the ecological niche that was once occupied by the trout. What used to hold trout will now hold smallmouth bass and panfish of many species. These smallmouth bass are river dwellers by their nature. As you guys can see, this river is loaded with fish. This is a small fish, but it is a start. What a cute little guy. I'll show him to you guys real quick, and then I'll let him go. Alright buddy, off you go. I am targeting these river smallmouth bass the same way I would target trout. What has happened is these smallmouth bass, since occupying the ecological niche of a trout, they will hold in the same water many trout species would have held in. This particular hole in front of me, the smallmouth bass is sitting on the edge of this eddy. It is loaded, but the fish here are a little bit on the smaller side. I will traverse the river in search of a bigger fish. Most of these fish in these high Sierra waters will eke a meager living, whereas a 10 to 14 inch fish is a very large fish for this section of river. This is another cute little guy. I'll show him to you guys real quick and I'll let him go. So I am still searching, I'm starting to move up the river and with these river it is really important that as an angler you must be on the move. These fish will migrate up and down the river given the water condition, clarity and water temperature. The fish in these rivers will tend to be on the smaller side. In my opinion, nothing beats fishing for these guys with light bait finesse tackle. This is one of my favorite form of fishing in the summertime. I can't stress how much I love this kind of fishing. Just being close to the water and being close to the fish. I'll show them to you guys real quick and off you go little guy. One equipment that is a must have in the small river is a good set of polarized glasses. A good set of polarized glasses will also help you see fish in the small tiny clear river. In front of me is a very good smallmouth bass for this section of river. Even though they are only about 10 inches at their best size for a good fish, they are very scrappy and fight really well on this ultralight tackle. This is a very nice smallmouth bass for this section of river. What has happened is these smallmouth will occupy what was once the niche of 10 to 12 inch rainbow trout. Because of this, their diet will become extremely insect based. With the insect based diet, the smallmouth bass will often ignore lots of minnow lichen imitation or small worms, and it is best to utilize baits that simulate insects. This is a beautiful smallmouth bass, especially from this clear water canyon river. This is a gorgeous fish. I will show him to you guys and then I'll let him go. Thanks for playing, buddy. Off you go. I will treat these river smallmouth bass the same way I would treat trout fishing. I will target my cast to the far side of the bank. These smallmouth bass will use the bluffs on the far side of the bank to ambush or pick up insects floating down the current. This is another very beautiful smallmouth bass. Pound for pound, these little river smallmouth bass will put up one hell of a fight on ultralight gear. This is one of my favorite form of fishing in the summertime. I love being outdoors, wading in the water, and targeting these guys. This is a very nice smallmouth bass for this river. He's vibrant and full of colors. This is a very beautiful little smallmouth bass. Thanks for playing buddy. Off you go.
I find that these little smallmouth bass from these small canyon rivers, their diet will be consisted almost entirely of insects. What was once a niche occupied by trout, these smallmouth bass will occupy the niche now. The river is warm and it has a full coat of algae on the bottom. Many trout species will not survive this kind of water temperature or river conditions, but these smallmouth bass and panfish will. There is a very nice school of smallies on the other side, but due to the low water, they are rather skittish. I will keep my distance and make a cast to the far side of the bank. Because the water is low and clear, these fish will tend to be skittish. I will present the jig as finessey as I can to tempt as many fish as I can out of the hole before moving. I got another bite and this is a very good smallmouth bass from the school. I think I spooked the school and they have now scattered, but it is worth it because I have caught the biggest one out of the school so far. This is a beautiful fish. He's the biggest one in the school that I've seen from the far bank. I'm glad I caught the targeted fish out of the school. The other fish were a little bit smaller, but this is the biggest one that I've seen on the school. He is healthy and he is a very chunky fish for the small river. I will show him to you guys real quick. This is a very beautiful fish, especially as the sun is setting this evening. Now I will target a really large fish that is sitting at the bottom of this hole. I have seen him as he is rising for insects that are floating on top of the water, almost like a trout that is rising for a hatch on top. This fish is, will be very susceptible to small flies or a small topwater, but I will target him with the Anisoptera. I know that because he is rising, I can't catch him. This will be considered a very large fish for this river. This fish is probably about 12 or 13 inches. For a small river like this, this will be a goliath. Especially since this river lack a proper forage for bass and their diet will consist of mostly insects or small crawfish and maybe the occasional sunfish. Even though this fish is not a football toad like many of their reservoir cousins, this is still a very pretty fish, especially when they're taken from these clear water rivers. What a beautiful little smallmouth bass. I'll show them to you guys real quick as my secondary camera is overheating. I found another school of smallmouth bass. This school is particularly on the larger side, but they are rather skittish. I'm going to target them the same way as I would target a trout. I got this bite as soon as the Anisoptera swung to the bottom of this hole. This is another very nice smallmouth bass, probably about 11 inches. But for these tiny rivers, I'll take it. This will be a toad in this tiny river. Targeting smallmouth bass in small river is among one of my favorite summer pastime. This kind of fishing is really hard to beat in my opinion. Just being outdoors and close to the water even though the fish are on the smaller side, I could do this kind of fishing all day. It is very enjoyable. What a nice little smallie. I'll show them to you guys real quick as the camera needs to cool down. Off you go buddy. The extreme heat is causing the GoPro to glitch. Somehow the GoPro froze at the most critical moment when I hooked this very nice smallmouth bass from the bottom of this hole. This is actually a very nice smallmouth bass as well. I thought the school was a little bit on the skittish side, but I gave it another cast and I hooked onto this fish. This is a very nice fish. This fish didn't want to pose for the camera and he slipped and got away. Overall, it was a great day on the North Fork of the American River. I caught a few smallies for the camera doing what I love most. Thank you guys for watching and until next time. Tight lines y'all.